Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, John Howell here. I want to do a, uh, an update on the stock market today um, and, uh, and just give you guys a bit of an update on what I'm seeing across the markets through here. So let's actually start it through here, guys. Um, I firstly want to start off by saying, guys, that um, for me personally, I think I've, I think I've got the vid this week because uh, I've been, for me personally, I've been knocked out from for majority of this week, um, and it's been quite, I don't know, it's just been quite, quite, quite a tough week for me. So I've done no trading at all this week at all. So I've done zero, zero trading, um, and I, I want to bring that to your attention because that. A lot of the times when things are not doing, when, when you're not doing too well, you might be going through a divorce or through a breakup or something, some, some, something's challenging happening in maybe in a family or, or something like that. Or you may, like for me, um, you may get hit with, with, with sickness. I haven't been this sick in probably years and years and years and years and years. It's just, it's just been crazy. But, um, but the, the whole thing is that I, I, I chose not to push it and just to relax and, and not try to look at the market or try to trade and so on and so forth and sometimes that is no that's that's the best thing to do if things are not doing too well if you try to if you try to bring all that all that problems in your life and you bring it to the markets um you're going to make a lot of mistakes with that sort of mentality you want to be sort of calm and present with the markets there so um i want to bring up the market through here i want to talk about the actual stock market today because we're getting a pullback right now and a lot of people are freaking out um, about this and what's happening right now. And I want to just give you my sort of two cents of what I'm seeing um, through here. Now, uh, I did do a video at the start of this week. And the video that I did at the start of this week, I actually had this trend line here, say on the S&P 500. Um, I drew this trend line here and you can go watch my very last video. I actually had this trend line. I said, traders, we got, um, it was actually this day right here. Uh, I said, traders, we actually got a very nice, we actually got a, a pop to the upside here, but it may fail. If it does fail, if we start to get below this trend line, then that's when we're probably going to start to see the pullback. And that's what we got yesterday. And then now we're getting the pullback through where we are right now when it comes to the S&P 500. Um, same for the NASDAQ as well too. We had a little rally up and we had a slow grind up. And then the same thing on this day right here. Uh, on this day right here, I did the video. I said, okay, we got a, we got a nice update, but if it does fail and we start to get below this trend line, then we're probably going to start to see that pullback in the markets. And that's what we're getting right now as well too. And same for the Dow Jones uh, as well. That's the trend line there. You can see we closed below it yesterday. And that's the reason why we got a bit of a follow through happening today as well too. So uh, let me take that up the screen there. So, so that's what we're getting right now. Same for the Russell as well too. Russell has uh, hit the hit my resistance line through here, 210 level as you can see, and then now we're getting getting now we're getting a bit of a pullback out of the markets through there. So what I'm seeing right now when it comes to these markets is that if we have a look at the uh, S and P 500, right? So the S and P 500, um, we have made a higher high here. So the really interesting thing is that we had made a high and we made a higher high. So the big question in my mind is that, are we going to create, um, or actually should I say it's more like, that was the last high there, okay? And then that was the last high there, and now we made this higher high. So looking at this here, we're probably gonna come up, we're probably gonna get a nice pullback like we're getting right now, maybe even back down towards these support levels through here somewhere. And then we're probably gonna start to see a higher low, and we're gonna start to see a, a movement back up towards the upside. Um, when it comes to the uh, basically the, the overall stock market as well too, we can see that's what's happening with the S and P. Uh, Nasdaq actually had a bit of a, a, a gap down, so there's obviously a lot of a lot of selling pressure in the uh, in in the Nasdaq that's happening right now. So um, you can see here once again, guys, movement up through there and a, and a very strong gap down. And I'll tell you right now, traders. Um, the market right now is just really, 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 really crazy volatile. So please don't be. Please don't be just jumping in and jumping out of these markets because I promise you, okay, I promise you, you'll be saying the words that I've said many times in the past and that is, I wish I'd, I just wish I'd even trade this week or I wish I'd even trade this month. Um, 
And so I don't want you saying that, okay? Just step back and then, and the number one thing for your trading is like, what is that, what is that perfect setup that, that you look for? Uh, and then the hard thing, right, is just waiting for that. That's always the hardest part. The easy, the trading is easy, waiting is hard. Trading is easy, saying no is hard. And what I mean by that is this, is that um, trading is easy because, you know, we have setups and there's a couple of different setups that happened this week with my private clients. Um, and there's just, there's actually this two beautiful, set, two, two beautiful trades that actually happened this week. And obviously most of them make, most of them make profits because that's the type of setup it is. Um, and uh, yeah, so, um, but saying no, saying no to uh, just a lot of rubbish out there or all the other stuff out there, like what you think or what you hope or what you're fearful of, uh, that's the sort of thing that you want to sort of just stay away from um, because you may get lucky, but I don't, I don't want you being lucky. I want you to be successful for the rest of your life. Um, if, again, if you actually learn, if you like to learn my trading system, then just join my join my webinar on the link link in the description, and then I'll uh, I'll share all the details too. Actually, how I trade the markets, uh, and I promise you, if you can just be patient for that setup, you'll crush it as well too. Um, so what we're having right now, say for the Nasdaq, is right. We had a bit of a run up. We had this sort of high point through here, and a high point through here. We got this point through here. So it's going to be really interesting to see what actually happens all through here as well too, right? We have this low point. So are we going to get this some sort of high low through here? And then we're going to get a bit of a bounce back up. So that's the, that's the big thing that I'm going to be watching for to see what actually happens here. Um, when when not, uh, I, was, I was saying all through here that I'm surprised that we're still rising because we're getting into a short term oversold level. And but now we're dropping. We're not, we're not uh, sorry, overbought level, overbought. Now we're dropping. We're not near that short. We're not. We're not near a short-term oversold level yet. So we may be getting ready for a, a bit more downside. They come, but it's going to be really interesting to see what actually happens uh, all through there. I'll just give you guys a quick little update across with the stock with gold and silver as well too. Gold has just done absolutely just nothing right now. Um, I'm still very bullish long-term with gold. Uh, so it's just that's the patient. That's the patient one there. Uh, and then silver. Silver, um, again, is still developing this sort of massive, massive sort of triangle pattern. We've done really nothing with silver as well too, so not really much to talk about there uh, on that one there. GDX, we, we, we are developing this pattern here. And so this pattern is really interesting because we're developing this here. It doesn't mean we're going to break up. It doesn't mean we're going to break down. This is actually a really interesting pattern. I've seen many a times this pattern do this, and then we go through through a bit of a, bit of a free fall. So it's going to be really interesting to see what actually goes on through here um, in the uh, on, on on the gold mining stocks as well too. So the GDXJ as well too. We're hitting hitting a lot of resistance. What would be good is to see the breakout. Okay, so we are yes, we are in a triangle pattern through here as you can see, right? We're developing this triangle pattern. But what we want to see is we want to see something like this break out like that. Um, and if we can get that, then that's going to be really 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 powerful for that. If we don't, we get a breakout. We're probably going to get a bit of a short term pullback out of the gold mining stocks through there. SIL, um, same sort of thing as well too, but the SIL has been developing a bit of a channel. So it's gonna be really, again, it's it's gonna be really interesting. Do we actually get something like this, a bit of a breakout, or do we actually just get a bit of a pullback through here? So uh, a bit of uncertainty right now across the markets, I'm just sending that right now. Um, but during this uncertainty time, um, I think that this is gonna be a really good buying opportunity because I see, especially the second half of this year, I see really, really, really big moves coming in the markets through there. So, uh, and then the SIL, that was the SILJ, this is the SIL. The SIL has just been really doing absolutely nothing as you can see, right? We've just been, if I take everything off the screen here, just really, uh, uh, let's actually do this through here, right? Look at this, just really nothing, absolutely nothing for quite some time. So I'm expecting, I'm expecting quite big moves. Um, out of these markets are uh, through here. So right now, there's still again, there's still a bit of uncertainty through there. Um, I do believe we have formed the bottom um, when it comes to the stock market over here. That we that that we did that we did that we did form a bottom for the year, um, and this is just a bit of a pullback. So and that's what I'm seeing through there, traders. Hope it helps you out, traders. I want to invite you to my webinar that I'm running today. And on this webinar, I'm going to share with you all the details to my number one trading system for the last 17 years and how I only trade one hour per day. Plus, also going to be learning the three secrets that I had to master over the last 17 years to generate a really good income. If you go to John's 
freetraining.com or there should be a link in the description. Click on that. Go over there right now, register. If you are struggling with the trading right now, I promise you this is going to completely game change because you're, you're gonna understand why you are going backwards and why you're losing money. And then I'm gonna teach you exactly what the system I use that gives me a really high percent win-loss ratio. So this is what I want you to do right now. Go to johnsfreetraining.com. Go over there, register for my webinar right now today because you're gonna absolutely love it. Or there should be a link in the description. And I look forward to seeing you on the webinar. So go to that right now and I look forward to seeing you on my next webinar. Go to that right now. Go to johnsfreetraining.com. Go to that right now.